What is the real enemies of this country are the corrupt leaders who are in power, who have destroyed the future of these young children. And we allow them to continue doing this by protecting them. Chons, by the way, uh, Ziko within our centers. And this is the funniest thing. All politicians know the solutions of Kenya. But because we are dealers and not leaders, we, we just get there to transact another, what we call, what we call, to transact another um, tribal deal, rule for five years. Same problems. Okay, for God's sake, how do we budget? And I'll pass the description. <laughs> Who will rescue Kenyans from the current economic turmoil? While the president believes he is the solution to the nation's challenges, many Kenyans see him as the root of these problems. Adding insults to injury, the hope that Kenyans had in the opposition to hold the government accountable has diminished. This follows the formation of a government of national unity, with some opposition members being appointed to government positions. And this development has left Kenyans feeling abandoned, as both the government and the opposition appears to unite in a single voice. Many believe this unity is focused on looting resources and crippling the economy. But the pressing question remains, who will rescue the country from this political class? Former presidential aspirant Wajakoya claims he is the solution to Kenya's problems. He argues that the country needs a strong, authoritative leader to emerge victorious in economic recovery. In other words, he suggests the country to have a dictator for a president. Wajakoya proposes a drastic solution. If given the chance to be president, he would act as a dictator and sentence all corrupt politicians to death by hanging. PhDs, yet they are not employed. And I'm going to to Ambia Hapa and the Bujena, but peace, peace without employment, peace without human rights, peace without education, peace without everything. <laughs> I'm running for president, and should you elect me, I'll be a dictator. <laughs> all those people standing. But do you think Wajakoya can actually become the next president? Well, this is what Pastor T recently said in our last interview with him about Wajakoya. And say these are our values. So hapa tunaingia kwa kitu inaitangwa business with morality. Okay, in the Netherlands, utakuta prostitution is legalized and they make a lot of money. But what is the morality behind legalizing prostitution? Ato wale malegu za mwili zao, si ati wanataka, economy iko mbaya. Na hiyo economy kwa mbaya. Lazima tujiulize ni nani ameharibu economy. How did we come to this level whereby we are now suffering and we are struggling? So tukianza kuangalia tunaanza kuona kuna mtu ameanza kuleta another conversation na tutaingia pale ya meroi imeingia Republicans and Democrats. That si tuna support abortion, si ni LGBTQ, si na si tuna support 1 2 3. So that's where we are heading to. So the church will not be quiet. Wajakoya is a former very good Republican. Appear the church in a need to come up with the values of the president they believe ought to lead this nation because that conversation has already begun. Yes. Now ukiangalia Wajakoya the main uh, reason why wachungaji wanampiga vita kwa sababu wanasema anataka kulegalize weed. Do you think that is a good move? Maana nimesema business without morality. Business without morality. Na na, na wacha na tuna weed hata hii Kenya. Kuna unaona kama Miss Jew Sidi found a fuliza ni nani. Lakini mtu ame found fuliza pia hiyo ni business without morality. Juu na target mtu wa mapato ya chini unampatia loan alafu unampatia interest yenye hata banki zimpatia. So we have a moral crisis in this nation. Whereby we look at young people, we look at people, we look at the nation and begin to introduce solutions that have no moral values. So we need to come to a place of saying ni kweli we dinaza inaza under door but what are the repercussions? At least he endorse everything because our quest is money we must come to the place of what are our moral definitions na your morality tanza kutupatia other innovations 
my problem na wajakoya being an intellectual ndakupatia example tulikuwa na sonko na tulikuwa na kidero time ya kidero wanasema nga Nairobi ilibiwa kuibiwa time ya sonko atujui nini happen but at least kulikuwa na ma 112 na ilifika point e nation tunaanza kuona ni kama intellectuals are not a solution intellectuals wamekuwa what we call political elites wana come up na proposals za kuiba kabisa ile mebaki so wajakoya being a professor i expect better from him unaweza come up na policies exposure yake legally anaweza come up na policies that have values that have morals is exposure globally anaweza come up na challenge the nation si kuingia tu kusema tutanyonga tutaua you know this is life we are talking about it, that, that's dictatorship we will vote him into power kama atavotiwa through a democratic process unless ataingia power through a coup then atanyonga kila mtu but if he's going to get to power through a democratic process lazima ajua na need parliament legislation na pia na need judiciary kama atakuwa the only president na majority of the MPs in Wauda na ODM he has no say in parliament that's where legislations are made so i believe as an intellect uh, he ought to come up with a very intellectual things that we can accommodate and discuss legalizing weed we have children majority of what we say is wako bound kwa weed tuna tuna raise mazombi You know as a father we can't raise a nation we can't raise a twisted talk from a hustler to a weed nation but it makes sense we need hope at the end of the day we need to be able to make youth if you gonna bang in with our sort we need hope we need hope so namina believe there are many concepts from agricultural quarters um from economic quarters industrialization things that can change the economy of this nation We need to work on what we call international policies. Kama sa hizi the reason why the uh, economy yetu ni mbaya ni some of the laws to sign bilateral laws that uh, through Egypt kuna products zinaleta ngo to Africa without taxation. Na ni juu hizo ni ma East Africa, West Africa, North Africa bilateral laws, kuna global laws, kuna mashiria tu sign na China ndo nakuta railway inaanzia Mombasa ikikuja inland badala itoke inland ikienda Mombasa. So we are our own enemies. So we need to sit and talk our solutions by the way uh, ziko within our centers and this is the funniest thing all politicians know the solutions of Kenya but because we are dealers and not leaders we we just get there to transact another what we call what we call to transact another um tribal deal rule for five years same problems ili semekana kwa jubilee ndio tunaambia sasa hizi okay for god's sake how to be bad what do to be bad same things wali tuambia time ya moi ndo tunaambia sasa hizi for god's sake na what wame kwa in all governments so mbona tunashindo that's one of the laws na mtu alisema by the way kuzipoangaliwa kuna ka generation kanaweza pewa power kaseme ah zai wote tuweke kwa board tu arusha india notion tuanze kenya fresh ndo <laughs> ka generation kana support wajakoyo kasi kwa ignored during the next five years what the majority voters na voice hiyo account na utaweka kwa tribal and they are very democratic and asima fala wanaangalia vitu na wanaweza judge shida sasa inakuwa values zao au labda wanafikiria mazi imagine kisha kicho mo state au mtu wangu imagine tuna tunaingia hivi jamhuri yetu tunapiga marege tu <laughs> so 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 hapo no mimi na feel na, na inafika place tunaanza kuwa na um, some of these political office zimekuwa so quote and quote useless Um, that even we don't give value to them the tambo men is officially kwa you ante say to shot a degree isha kwa you know anyone can ascend to power but all you need is popularity so to shanza ku kill the value of that office and that's how you take a nation into anarchy and monarchy utanitumze anzishe gorilla war nataka ya kiti because we we don't have what makes leaders leaders una tafuta tu popularity i can be popular in all the wrong things so i believe as a nation tunafaa kuingia kwa conversation na tujulize very hard questions i don't support weed because weed is implemented prostitution itakuwa implemented na hata tutasema basi tu kuzea hata cocaine cocaine ina do heroin ina do na zinatumika for medical science for cancer zinatumika you can verify but what is the morality of that business eh kulingana na wajako anasema he is legalizing weed for exportation so that's what you do and that's what i'm saying wajakoya is learned come with a business proposal have, have we seen any interactions with america you know it's just an assumption juzi tulisikia china wamezuza wakama tunakula watu nasema wanakula nyoka have we seen any interactions with america 
is there statistics that eh, the kama two agreements so hizi politicians wana kuangatwa wameanza kusign mapema unasikia meroi imekwambia ukiingia power tutafanya hii na hii those conversations are there okay umeingia power ujaiongea na meroi haya tumekuza bangi alafu tutavuta nchi mzima you know these are ex- these are exports kuna kuna policies kuna global laws are exports of such things that's why i'm saying being an intellect he's speaking things that sound very good but in reality they may not be very practical atujajua kama ongea na china is it an assumption they take next yes there is a market have you have you pitched have you proposed yeye mwenyewe asha use a bank ya sema mimi a bank ndio hii na nataka huko expand hii biashara ama is an assumption because this nation is selling to this nation and they are doing this business so we just need facts you know uh, and and na hapo ndo nimesema pia morality we will we legalize prostitution tukisema leo gaze minalipa na tunaweza lipa loan kupitia gaze tutachukua maboy wetu tuambie wa parade kwa street wa kule nyuma juu inalipa italipa deni there must be values at the end of the day